Today I'm going to show you how to do that classic sandstorm slash disintegration effect in Photoshop in hopefully under 5 minutes. And we are starting now! What's up guys, my name is Francois, thanks so much for tuning in today and welcome to this brand new channel. Uh, this video is part of a new playlist on how to master Photoshop the basic tutorials. I'm going to release beginners, intermediate and advanced tutorials for Photoshop, After Effects and Premiere Pro. So make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to this channel to learn how to become an absolute monster. This video is geared towards people who are already a bit more comfortable with the program. But hey, whether you're a pro or a beginner, you're still going to learn something really cool today. So grab your snacks, get comfortable and let's get cracking. So essentially this effect is really quite simple. It's just that it uses a lot of different tools. So let's start with this picture. What we're going to do is duplicate that background layer with Command or Control J, create a rough mask around our model Harley here, and add a contour to wet field. So press L on the keyboard to bring up the lasso. Let's do a rough mask around her, something like that. Make sure you select the bottom as well. Right click, select fill, content to wear, and press OK. Let Photoshop do its thing. Great, that's good enough for what we need. So now let's go back to the original layer, duplicate it again, so Control or Command J, put it on top so we can see it. We're gonna make another selection, but this time it has to be precise. So I'm gonna use the magnetic lasso tool here and start selecting a selection of Harley again. It doesn't matter if you don't get all the hairs just yet, we're gonna get to that in a minute. Once the first pass of the selection is done, you're going to want to go in the Select and Mask option here. Select a Refine Edge Brush Tool and go over the hair. Change the size of the brush to match the uh, selection and start clicking away. So this is going to start getting rid of the background and adding some of the finer hair on top of her head. And it's all done just by clicking and dragging over the edges. Okay, this is done. Now let's just make sure that the output is uh, set to layer mask and press OK. Now what we have is the original layer, the background without Harley, and Harley without the background. And the selection is done around the hair. Finally, duplicate the original layer one more time. We're going to put it below the finally the selected one. We're going to call it Disintegrate. This one just stop so you remember it. Let's solo this layer and go over to Filter and select Liquify. Now with the Forward Warp tool selected, click and drag over Harley's hair to fill the top left corner of the image here. Let's adjust the size of the brush to make it way bigger for now. And we're going to try not to get her fingers in just the hair for now. So you're going to have to do a lot of clicking and dragging, maybe make it smaller here. Bring some forward, so remember just the hair. Gonna get some of her shoulder as well. Also, while we're at it, we can still do it in the future, but let's do it now. Let's get rid of that small blue line as much as we can here. It's not a big problem as long as it stays small. There's only red, a little bit of mixture here, and that's good enough. Let's press OK. And there you go, that's done. The disintegration effect is... Right, don't worry, I'm not gonna make this joke anymore. So now here comes the cool part. With the liquefied layer selected, which is the disintegrated one we just warped, create a new mask and make it black. Mask, select G and make it black. So this is gonna hide everything. The only parts of that liquefied layer that are going to appear are the ones corresponding to the white areas of that layer mask, which we're gonna paint on right now. So let's bring up all the layers. So with the grungy type of brush, let's just add some detail back in. Make sure you have the layer mask selected and select white. Let's add some variation, some different sizes, some smaller ones, fine detail, and you can start to see where this is going. Some variation again. With some small ones here. Don't worry if yours end up being too busy, you can still take some away because what we're going to do is just add some black and some white. So this is your layer mask. With a smaller grungy brush, we can remove some of those uh, thicker parts at the end just to make it look like it's trailing off towards the end. The key here is to make sure that the weird wave here don't appear too much through the layer mask. So keep that in mind. The good thing with this effect as well is that if uh, you select this layer, go back to filter and liquify, you can still add some modification after the fact if you're not happy with it. Actually, you can even use the patch tool if you want to uh, blend the colors even better. 
Nice, we're starting to get somewhere quite nice here. So now that we've added some of this disintegration of the, on that layer, let's just now remove some of it on the top layer. So with the top layer's mask selected, let's um, do exactly the same, but this time removing some of it and you'll see exactly what we're starting to get. Just trying to break the edge of his shoulder here. Some here. This sadness will bite your tongue, no one is forever young. No. There we go. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful. If you did and you didn't mind my accent, make sure you give this video a like, get subscribed and hit the notification bell. Also, if you want me to cover any particular subject or technique relating to graphic design or content creation in general, drop me a comment below and I'll make sure to answer every single one of them. Finally, if you're wondering what to watch next, you can click on this video right here. I've been Francois. Thanks so much again for watching. See you next Thursday.